It seemed like a harmless announcement about a federal grant aimed at fixing a persistent problem alongside one of the city's most popular parks, the Salem Creek Greenway, a trail that follows its namesake waterway, runs from Marketplace Mall to Salem Lake, past Old Salem, Winston-Salem State, and Reynolds Park Golf Course. Thousands of people use it year-round. One short section, maybe the length of a football field, has caused flooding problems even after local government rebuilt in 2012 the dam at Salem Lake. So earlier this week, after learning that the city had been awarded a federal transportation grant of $809,000 with $200,000 match to reroute the frequently flooded section, city officials put out a brief announcement about it on social media. A lot of frequent flyers, those who use the Greenway with some regularity, applauded the move. They felt like it would be safer. I know, do I need to give his name? Nah, it's all right. <clears throat> I know a man that uh, it was swept away at the creek crossing that we're talking about. Uh, it banged him up pretty good and drug him down the creek for a It must have been a pretty high flood. Well, it's nothing unusual. I mean, we see them every year, two or three times a year anyway. But other people, perhaps not overly familiar with how grants work, lost their minds wondering how the city would spend a million dollars on a quote, puddle. Surely we have better things to spend money on, some griped. And that's understandable considering some of the things the city has spent money on. A million bucks for a hydroponic farm, for example. But the complaints missed the mark. Grants were written for a specific purpose and are very detailed in what they propose. There is no leeway in how it gets spent. The money's been earmarked by the feds, and if it's not directed here, it will be spent somewhere else.